Hi everybody, welcome to Shop My Stash for the month of June. But before we shop my stash, I'd like to say that I'm wishing peace and goodwill to all mankind. And let's get busy with the Shop My Stash. So I like to look back at May 1st and show you what I used, just to recap, tell you if I liked the product or did not like the product, and whether or not I'm going to declutter it or put it back in my stash. So let's get started with the one and only eyeshadow palette I pulled for May. And it was from Juvia's Place. It is the Saharian. This palette was recommended to me by Rachel. She has been with me, I believe, from the inception of my channel, so she knows what kind of colors I usually aim for. And I think she may have known that I'm a little shy of um, Juvia's Place at one point because I was a little shy because I was intimidated by the colors. Well, she recommended this, like I said, and she was right. It was a good jumping point for me because there is color there, but it's kind of subdued, but yet not so subdued because look at this look at these look at those shimmers those metallics those ugh, just beautiful and then you have a couple of mattes in here to kind of uh, hold everything down so this worked really well for me I got compliments when I wore this greenish shade here it is gorgeous look at that and I just found out from playing around with it that this is just as pretty I mean these colors really are amazing beautiful so I'm going to return that to my stash and revisit it probably in the cooler months towards the end of the year and next let's look at the two uh, contour palettes I pulled and they're both by Black Radiance you know I like this brand for lips and for contour and for powder um, their blushes don't seem to work so well, but yes, on the contour. This is the powder one in medium dark. I have hit pan on the contour color, which works out well for me. About to hit pan on the sculpt here, and the highlight not so much yet. But I am going to keep this in my stash, or in my tray, and use it for the month of June. And I will put back the same palette but in cream. This is a newer one they came out with. I wanted to get it because I like the other one so much. But I'm going to use this more in the cooler months. And now just to show you here, I have, do have a setting spray. It's Tarte and it is the Stay Spray. And it works well. I have no complaints with this. The mist is fine. It works for me spring, you know, cooler months. But I'm going to put it back in my stash because we're heading into the summer so I need something else. This is just a cleaning fluid for the brushes and this is alcohol. I think it's 50% that I put in this um, setting spray bottle so I clean my brushes with both of those. Here it's evidently I have to have floss everywhere I go so that's what that is. Here is a blush that I really like. I was surprised. I got this in an Ipsy bag but this is the Shanna B Bloss and it is in the color what is it? Brickle. Very pretty color. It's like a peachy red. I have to say it is not a lot of shimmer to it or sparkles, but it does give you just a little glow or a little kind of a light or lit look to your cheeks. So that is very pretty. I'm going to put that away. And next we're moving into the two lip glosses. I did not pull a lipstick, but I did visit some in another tray I have and I did use one from my uh, pan 20 but I use these two lip glosses over those colors and I really like them this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think this one is her again I need to have my glasses on this one is in Sunset Strip very pretty it has a kind of a it reminds me of a creamsicle shimmery creamsicle that kind of orangey color but I'm going to put that away for now and then this one is wet and wild which I enjoy using I've pulled several times there's not one thing wrong with this but I'm going to put it back because I've used it so much it looks white in the tube but comes out pinkish on the skin or on your lips and like I said it's wet and wild and it's in the Capri 
it's in the Capricorn it's in the zodiac sign of cancer so I'm putting that away and I have here it cosmetic lip balm that is finished so that's going away I've used it all up I've had it a few years maybe three years and uh, this is just a lip balm in peach blossom organic lip balm I'll keep it right there and then we're going to move on to this side first of all these brushes are going to all go away and be washed and so is this lovely sponge that I really like by NYX that was a gift with purchase I love how this end is chiseled can get right under your eyes your under eye area and really pack or put in that um, that under eye cream really well so this is a nice brush and it's slanted here flat here flat here and rounded on the butt really good for the face as well so I really like that a lot here I have the Lumify um, eye drops for when your eyes just need a little pick me up their little blood shot or something and this is eye cream by belief I really like this because it is supposed to help with the elasticity around your eyes I don't notice any difference but it is good for just giving me moisture around my eyes I keep water here to dampen my sponge and this Rata and Co superfood face serum is just about done and I'm happy because right now it's too sticky to use and where is a uh, wipe I want to wipe this lip gloss off my hand and this is a sample of Lumiere I played with this before I actually ordered the um, foundation I wanted to see if I liked the formula and I did so I'm gonna leave that there and play with it some more Shiseido here is my sunscreen right now um, it's in 50 plus I got the wet force it does have a scent but all of you brown beauties out there it goes on nicely and there's no cast so you'll like that about it uh, like I said there is a little scent but it's not bad at all and into my onto my mascaras which I'm not happy with either the primer or the actual mascara I have the superhero it cosmetic mascara It's clumpy it's just not my fave so I am decluttering that I don't care that I recently purchased it it's gone the covergirl lash blast I've had for a while it's drying out so it's time to um, that's a primer it's time to get rid of that so I'm going to get declutter it I'm going to keep in my tray here the absolute beauty click cover concealer I use this under my eyes and to spot any areas that I need to hide or cover or conceal and here are my it has a red undertone so I like that about it here are my eyeliners first I have one in white just to open up the eyes I like it by NYX I have um, a cover now this is a Clinique in black I'm going to declutter that don't need a sh deep deep black this is wet n wild the color icon this is in kind of a brownish black it's called mink brown and to me it looks gray on me so I'm going to declutter that I'm not happy with that color even though it might be good for summer I just think it looks too cool so I'm gonna get rid of that this is another color icon a pencil by wet n wild it can be used for your brows and also to line your eyes I'm going to keep that in there because you know we just want a lighter look sometimes in the summer months so I'll leave that one there and uh, yeah that's it for my pencils let's go to my brows so you know I really have never had a problem with the Milani eyebrow pencil it's called the easy brow it's an automatic pencil and I usually get it in um, dark brown I think that's what it's called yeah dark brown zero two this one just crumbled on me every time I tried to use it and you can see as I'm it's at the end now pretty much I still got a good amount in there if you can see that but look how it's crumbled already right there on the tip every time I put it on my eyebrows pieces are falling down so I am going to declutter it it's not a good it wasn't a good batch I guess and it, even got some on the table here whoops sorry about that so that's going in the trash this is just a Danielle brow pencil or spoolie and um, this is something I'm going to declutter it's the La Beauty Fatale brow 
fixed tint and shaper. It was in an Ipsy box. I do not like the tip on this or the spoolie on this. It's like a round or oval ball that just is too messy. It just, you can't get a nice look with this. It's all over the place, so it's going out. Not keeping it, like I said, I'm not keeping anything that I don't want or don't like. I do like a lot this e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I basically use it on my brows. I usually get it for a dollar, but lately I haven't seen it in the dollar store. I've only seen it at Walmart and they charge you a whopping two dollars for it. But you know, once you pay a dollar for something, you just can't believe you got to pay an extra dollar. So, but anyway, you know, that's just me. So next is my Salon Perfect. This is a, I don't know what kind of point they're calling it, but it's a dark brown brow um, liner or pencil. And it it's kind of neat because the tip, there are three separate parts to the tip and it helps your, um, your line to be more hair-like when you're applying it to your brows, your brow hairs. Well, my hand is not coming out that way, but it's in dark brown and I feel like it gives me a little more control when I use this. So I have purchased a couple more of those. I like it so much. Alrighty, I think we finished what I used in May. So now let's move on to shopping my stash for the month of June. Hang in there guys. So here is the makeup tray that we just cleared out making it ready for the things we're going to pull for the month of June. I'm adding my cosmetic case here because I want to find some products. I'm moving you down so you can see inside of it. I want to find some products that I hope will help keep me matte for the days that I'm not wearing a foundation or even if I am wearing a foundation I need some products that will help keep me dry and not so moist and because I go back to work this weekend June will be a day that a month rather that I will not be wearing maybe a full face I should say when I'm, I won't be wearing a full face when I'm working not with everything else I have to have on so my makeup will strictly now be for when I'm home not working so this is a cosmetic case that was an ipsy bag and uh, in it I store things that are new to me that I'm just not ready to pull out and put right into one of my trays. So I did pick up this e.l.f. matte oil control lotion and it has the uh, kale and clay in it and tea tree oil. So I want to give that a try and along with that I picked up also by e.l.f. is there plus kale and clay give your skin touchless touch up with this mattifying spray so it's a matte blotting mist and it's called e.l.f. plus both of them are it's that line I guess and let's see if there's anything else in here oh I also got this little bite sized palette and it's in carnival candy I'm not sure if I want to put that in my tray I picked up some more makeup wipes I have some palettes in here but maybe I'll save this for July I have some more mascaras I think that's all from here so I have these things I'm going to add to my tray I think away here I have some lippies some pencils some concealers and mascara foundations things like that and then here I have as well some eyeshadows as shadows and I think we may pull one out of here this is my by Terry and I recently received this um, Natasha Denona palette it is the um, mini star palette it was on sale at Sephora so I got it for like twelve dollars and you know that this palette is the sunset palette I like the minis so I'm thinking I might want to pull one of these I'm not sure yet this is nice for kind of like a, to me, a green bronzy look. I'll pull this one just in case I decide to go in that direction. Today, and I haven't shown you my eye look, but I have on some eyeshadow from my collection of um, 
Charlotte Tilbury. And I actually put on both palettes, the Carpet Charge and the Super Blue. So I'm going to pull those because I really do like those. And that's it. And I will show you what these look like as we get in more into it. Um, I have a lip I want to try that's relatively new. It's from Otis Couture and it's in the color Adore Me. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. I think I'm pulling that. And as far as a mist, I have the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus and I have the Volatin Oil Control Mattifying. This is more of a natural product here as an oil control and um, it's Volition, I think I should is pronounced well control mattifying mist I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one I think I'm going to use something else and for the days that I want foundation from this area I think I will go with either the Sicily right here Sicily or the Goulain let's try the Goulain the Pat McGrath I'll save for when it's um, really hot, like August maybe, because it's a deeper color. I want my tone to be a little deeper. I think I won't use Tom Ford Lippy. I think I'm going to go for the NARS. I have that in a tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base. Let me try that some days. And I'm going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner and I have it in intense I think it is in intense or just pillow talk I'm going to try that and I'm also going to try her three intense pillow talk lip cheeked that's a lip liner and I have her blue I'm not going to use the blue now I'll wait on that so I'm not sure if I'm going to use her palette let's pull the blue liner just in case I decide to use that and I'm going to use the hourglass this is the hourglass veil mineral primer so I'm going to use that from here and let's see if anything I need from here here I have the Pat McGrath McGrath her palettes a couple of palettes I have of hers her powder her under eye powder I think I'm gonna pass on her right now going down to my bottom drawer I have her, this is a highlighter trio. I have this that I might want to try. You know, I'm going to save some of these things. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go very basic for the month of June. I have some birthdays in July. I don't know if we'll be able to go out and celebrate them, but I'm going to save some of these the things that I want to get more dressed up for, those things. I'm going to save those looks for July. So I'm going to put this back. Let's save those looks for July. I'm going to put Charlotte Tilbury, her shadows back. Just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Really, I wasn't. I do know I have a look in mind, but coming up, but it's not. And I'm going to put the Goulain back and pull out the Sisley because that's more every day for me. I will keep out the Natasha, the NARS, and the Hourglass just for the days I need them. And down here, Fenty, this is her, I'm going to save this Cognic Candy. This is her Diamond Balm here. I'm going to save that for later. I'm not, not pulling anything else out of there. I'm going to let everything else ride. What is this? This is Dior. I'll let that ride too. Okay, that's it from there. So these are the things I've pulled thus far. Let's go down. Let's group them together. Not this EOS. Let's put that away. But I've pulled two palettes. One from ELF. It's the Carnival Candy. One from Natasha Denona. It's her star palette. And I've pulled for foundation, I've pulled the Sicily Phyto Detent, and I've pulled this lipstick from Otis Contour in Adore Me, and these two items thus far. So, 
let's move to another area and see what I need to add. Oh my gosh, what have I done? <laughs> I've got quite a bit out here. Trying to go for that matte look, okay? So we pull this matte, elf, uh, matte balancing mist. Got to fit that in somewhere. Let's open up this um, matte oil control lotion. Okay, that's what the bottle looks like on that uh, e.l.f. matte oil control lotion. So I have pulled uh, Becca, and then I have this as well. This has clay in it. That's what it looks like on me there. So let's put that right here, and let's give the Becca a try. I know already, if I can get any out, the Becca works for me. There are the two. The Becca is the cream whitish one and the elf is the lighter one. I'll give them a rub. Oh, I can tell the Becca feels much more drying. This feels very lightweight and we'll have to try them both out because I'm not going to put everything in. And then um, I pulled a setting spray. I got the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And did I get something else by Urban Decay? Felt like I did. Maybe I... Mm, nope, maybe I put it back. Okay, so let's see. Palettes. First of all, this is um, by Sephora. I bought this because it helped me to get free shipping. I usually don't go for anything like this, but the price, it was on sale and it gave me free shipping, so I said, why not? So let's just go ahead quickly and swatch this. To go this way because I still have some of the other colors. So that's what it's looking like right over here. That color there is something else. Very light, very bright. So let's put that there. The Majestic Eyeshadow Palette. Lots of bright colors, blues. You saw this, like I said. Already I showed that in my tag for eyeshadow palettes. And I have a bunch of little palettes that I've pulled. You're well familiar with the Too Faced Tickle Peach. I like the formula on this so much. Put that in there. I, this is new to me, the Natasha Denona palette. It's an oldie and it was on sale. So we'll see how that works. Those are the colors there. Kind of bland, not nothing to write home about. But we'll see how that goes. Let's wipe my hands off here. Got full of color. And um, I've played around in, with these little e.l.f. palettes before, but we're pulling those as well. And this newer one, it's a bite size in Carnival Candy. I was attracted to the blue in this, so we will see how that works out. Let's open that one up. Uh, well, this wrapping is good, but it's making a challenge to get into. There it is. Let's go ahead and swatch. Ooh, intensity. The only one I'm concerned about is this brown one here. Didn't show up too much, but that's pretty. That blue is pretty. I'm going to have fun with that. Those will be great just for running around, doing a quick eye look with. And I pulled one more eyeshadow palette. It's a new one to me. It's the Viseart Petit Pro Number no. 3. It was on sale as... was it? I don't remember. I think it was on sale. Yes, it was. This is what it looks like. It's a little heavier with that dark green, but that'll make a nice outer corner along with this. So let's take a look at those heavier colors. Yeah, this is screaming like winter fall to me. But then again, this color here is spring. It's uh, like spring to me. I'm feeling this color. I want to wear that color. That's like from the Juvia's palette almost. Let's look at the purple. Pretty. The pink may not do much for me. But the purple and the green, yeah, 
That's nice. We'll play around with it because it's new to me. We'll see how I like it. And then let's get into my powders. Remember I pulled the Fit Me to put in my purse and also the Black Radiance to put in my purse just for touch-me-ups for work. So I'll put these to the side. And I pulled the Laura Gella Translucent. This is the Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. Excuse me. So I pulled that. And then I pulled three Laura Geller blushes. This one has some shimmer to it. It is the Baked Blush and Brighten Berry Trifle. I have worn this before. It's a mess in here. I know that it, oh, it's pretty, but lots of, uh, you know, maybe it's gotten old and it's not as much shimmer to it as it used to have. This one is the Soft Matte. Both of these next ones are Soft Matte. This one is in Cherry Bloom. I meant to use this during the spring. Oh, now I can see the shimmer in that other one. And this one is in, this one is Rom Romantic Rose. It's a lighter pink. I think I want the middle one. Yeah, the middle one would be nice to have. This one, Cherry Bloom. Definitely going to pull that one. And I may have to come back for some of the others. I'll, I'll think about these two. Well, maybe I should do this one. Yeah, I'll do these two. And I'll put away the Romantic Rose. I don't feel like I'm getting much color from that right now. Um, next is my foundation I pulled. I pulled the Sicily uh, Photo Tint Eclat. And I'm in shade 7 Mocha. You've seen me use this before. I'll put it over here for right now. I pulled the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser just to have another one on hand and I pull the Essence Lash Princess because I was not happy with that it. I pulled also a primer for the lashes in Smashbox. I'm not sure if this is dried up. Yeah, you see there's a little bit in there but it may be clumpy. I think it's just as old as the other one. I'll put it in here but I have another one that I'm going to pull because I have a feeling that I'm going to get to the point where I'm ready to throw that out real soon because I think it's really dry. And I pull the new lipstick I purchased. It's the Artist Couture and it's in Adore Me. It's really a nude for me, a reddish brown color, my kind of go-to's. But I wanted to try something from Artist Couture so I bought that. And I pulled three as you saw, three glosses. One is by Buxom. It's a, a lip plumping. So it'll go on first. And then I pulled, you know, both of these are new, I think. Well, this one isn't. I pulled the um, Scorpio in the Wet n Wild color icon which is kind of like a purpley shade. I don't know if I'm going to get much use out of that. I'll tell you that right now but I, I pulled it. I'm thinking I should have waited till October for Halloween for that one. And I pulled, if I can get it open because it's not another Wet n Wild color icon for the month of um, Zodiac month of Libra. That's pretty. It's almost like the other one I had. It looks pinkish. So those are my lippies for the month. If I can get in focus. I don't know about that purple. You guys, if I come back next month and tell you I didn't wear it, or you know why. We knew that from the beginning. And I pull some face powders that are all loose just to play around with to see what will work best for me for my work days. They're all tinted. This is medium deep, believe beauty. So I'm like I said, I want to keep my face as matte as I can while I'm working. I will wear a little powder. I think it may not work out for me. This is the Laura Mercier. Mercier Medium Deep. It says it's translucent. And this is one that's more recently purchased. The Becca. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It is loose and you know you have this little system here for that. 
I think I'm going to keep all three of those out. And I bought a sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral uh, Primer. And it has SPF of 15 in it, so that may be good to use. And for my eyes to um, have an eyeshadow base, I have a tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base, which is really good. I've used this a little, and I really like it for keeping my eyelids matte because I have oily eyelash, I mean eyelids. So that is it. I think I'm off to a good start for June. And let me pull the brushes for this month. These are all washed and clean, so let's see what we're going to use. These are these are Trish McEvoy brushes here. These are the uh, Sonia G Sky Sky Set, I think it is. Yeah, got those. I like these a lot. If I use this set, I think I'll use this set here. This is the Complex Contour Set. And I got everything I need here. These brushes are uh, multifunctional, so the blush brush can be used for bronzer as well. Powder and blush can be used here. And then I have three eyeshadow brushes that should do the job. So we're just going to pull these, and then of course if I need more, when these get dirty, I'll either wash them or pull out some of my other brushes. But these will be the main go-to brushes. So I'll make sure everything's set up and I'll let you see that at the end. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if you're doing a Shop My Stash or have done for the month of June, let me know so that I can go check it out. Bye-bye.